real quick before we move on. Uh, what did you, I mean, he just puts his nose in there again, doesn't come away with a medal, but 17 year olds, a 17 year old getting fourth is insane. Yeah. I mean, this is, I guess the best result you could probably think of, right? Outside of, if you were to medal, it's like incredible, but it makes sense for him to finish fourth in this race. I mean, the, there was a lot of seasons vets, seasoned vets above him. And he still ran a good race. He ran sub 20, 1993. You got to respect that. He's ready to kind of take on in the next few years. You just hope there's not like a, a regression because maybe you get all the success so early in your first year, you feel like it starts becoming a little too easy for you. And then you might get a little distracted. I mean, these kids are young, right? You look at Sydney McLaughlin, right? She makes the Olympics at 16. It doesn't take it takes her like five years to become the focused type of world beater she's become. It doesn't happen overnight. And Arian Knight might have to go through a little of like figuring out his way through the the waters as a young as a young runner. And then maybe it won't be till he is 2021 20, where he's able to run the way DeGrasse runs and be consistent and be able to, you know, put his name yeah. uh in in the in the record books. But it's a good start. Kemp, if you're going to start your uh, Olympic career with the fourth place finish, it, it's pretty good because that means if you do better the next time around, it means you're medal. <laughs> so, yeah. Good, good way to start. There's no guarantees, as we know, in this, in this sport. But what's impressed me this year is just the consistency that he's showed. It's not as if he ran one really fast time in a in Olympic trials and then got to the Olympics and went out in the first round. He's just been so solid this year and he's so new to the sport because when I was thinking about what makes this so surprising, it's just most people didn't know his name until, you know, if you're really paying attention 2020, but people didn't know him before that compared to the other superstars that we've seen, like a thing, Mo and Sidney McLaughlin, we knew them at a much younger age, but we're just now getting acquainted to uh to arian knighton and it's been it's been a really quick rise to the to to, to an olympic final and a fourth place finish yeah i'm excited to see he still has eligibility for aa junior olympic games right those are going on he's gonna hop on a plane and jump in the 17 to 18 aau 200 meter final i think they they leave a lane open for him right they're like hey if you want to come you get a bye to the final We'll let the uh, 